You're watching Loudmouths. Here we go. It is Loudmouths Great to Bake. Gary Apple alongside Eamon McEnany. And I think a really interesting topic to throw out there, Eamon, uh, who's on the Mount Rushmore all-time Mets baseball? Who would your four guys be? Uh, Gary, this is a great debate because obviously you can only put four, so lots of great players to choose from. Let's start with the automatic no-brainer, the lock. That's Tom Seaver. He right. was named the franchise for a reason, so obviously he's on Mount Rushmore. I'm going to put Mike Piazza up there as well, even though obviously he didn't play his entire career with the Mets and he didn't win a World Series with the Mets, but that trade of Mike Piazza completely rejuvenated the franchise. So many big moments, a Hall of Famer. Mike Piazza's up on Mount Rushmore as well for me. I'm going Jacob DeGrom, even though obviously his career is still in full flight. Back-to-back Cy Young Awards helped lead the Mets to the World Series in 2015. And, Gary, could you imagine if there's ever a season where he gets support offensively yes. and from the bullpen, he'd win about 30 games. So, obviously, he, you could argue he's the best pitcher in baseball, so I'm putting Jacob DeGrom. And then my final choice, maybe a little controversial because his career was more of what could have been as opposed to what it was, but Doc Good, he completely electrified this city every time he took the mound. And, Gary, you and I are old enough to remember – there was a mural of him in Times Square yes. welcoming people to Midtown Manhattan. So if you have a mural in Times Square, you got to be on Mount Rushmore. Listen, I agree on Doc Gooden. I don't, in fact, I don't even think it's controversial. He had one of the great seasons in the history of, of baseball back in 1985. So I'm with you on Doc Gooden. As you mentioned, Tom Seaver, that is the lock. He's the franchise. 311 wins, the greatest pitcher in Mets history. I do put David Wright on my Mount Rushmore. I mean, he holds so many of the Mets records, RBIs, runs, second all-time in home runs. His, his career was derailed last three seasons. I think if that didn't happen, if David Wright had stayed he healthy, he would be heading for the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. But I must put the captain on my Mount Rushmore. And finally, I think Daryl Strawberry in so many ways was such a key part of the 86 championship team. The all-time home run leader in Mets history, 252 home runs. And really, in many ways, part of the huge fabric of that championship team was such a polarizing figure so those are, those are my four guys aiming up on the mountain. Gary, I want to be a fly on the wall in the booth when you work with Keith Hernandez again and you put Daryl Strawberry up there instead of uh, Keith Hernandez. Uh, look, obviously some great guys to choose from. I just think Piazza delivered more in the big moments and the fact that he closed the door at Shea with Tom Seaver puts him in over Straw, but obviously yeah. Straw delivered some big moments. I hear well, what Gary. you're saying. Listen, it pained me not to put Keith on Mount Rushmore. And I thought about this long and hard because in many ways I think he does belong there. I do believe Keith is a Hall of Famer. He just didn't play enough of his career with the Mets, which is why I don't have him up there. The 11 gold gloves, he should be in Cooperstown. And Mike Piazza, again, greatest hitting catcher in the history of the game, but didn't play enough of his career in a Mets uniform. All right, that's it for us. Eamon, great to be with you. Stay healthy and keep your family healthy, and we will see you down the road.